So today we're going to be learning everything you need to know about image prompts in mid journey for the purpose of this tutorial. I'll be using these professional headshots that I captured of my beautiful girlfriend, Angie. She doesn't know that we're going to be using this and manipulating her photo. So hopefully after this video is uploaded, she's still my girlfriend. So let's jump in and cover this image prompts. Well, when you use image prompts, you can use it as part of a prompt to influence a job's composition, style, and colors. Basically, you can input an image and Mid Journey will work off of that image to produce whatever text prompt and parameters you give it. So the structure will be image prompt, then text prompt, so description of what to imagine for Mid Journey, and then the parameters. So let's start with image prompt. How do we go ahead and accomplish that? So the first thing you want to do is click this plus icon here. You're going to click on upload a file. And then when you go to your images, you will click on the image that you wish to upload. You will select open and then you will simply hit enter. Now we have to click on the photo. We have to open it in the browser and this right here, we have to copy the link of the actual photo. This is a very important step because this is what we'll be using in order to converse with the mid journey bot. So now let's get creative. Let's go forward slash imagine the prompt will be the photo first. And now we'll describe what I want mid journey to imagine. So I will say Greek goddess. And then for the parameter, this part is especially important. Your aspect ratio should be the same as the photo that you uploaded. So in my case, this is four by five. So I'm instructing mid journey to output the image grid with an aspect ratio of four by five. We hit enter. And here's what mid journey dreamed up right here. So I actually really like these top two because I think they look most like my girlfriend, yet they still look like a Greek goddess. This one on the top left, I like best. Let me show it to you side by side. So this is it side by side. I actually really love this and I will probably make this the cover photo for this tutorial. So that saves me time on that. So here I played around with it some more and I asked it to create my girlfriend as a superhero. And it actually dreamed up something that's close to exactly what I was hoping for, which is really, really impressive. Now at this point in the video, I want to discuss the image weight parameter. Remember the parameters go at the end of a prompt. Why is it important? Well, over here in Midjourney, it says that the image weight parameter is used to adjust the importance of the image versus text portion of a prompt. What does this mean? Well, I put a prompt in once more and I made the image weight two in this photo right here for Greek goddess. And you see that it got a little less creative with it and it's trying to make it look more like the exact picture. And that is the whole point of the image weight parameter. Now the default value is used when no dash dash IW is specified. Higher dash dash IW values mean the image prompt will have more impact on the finished job. The range varies from 0.5 to two and the default is typically one, but I would actually say that the default of one is perfect for most of the stuff that I was aiming to do. The default is the exact thing that I was hoping for and looking for. So over here, I was even playing around with making a high image weight value of two and asking it to create a corporate logo emblem vector. And you could see that it's not really creating the greatest logo. It's going ahead and just using the initial image and influencing the output mainly from the image and not really too worried about the logo part. So it depends on what you are wishing to get out of the program. The parameter dash dash IW or image weight is going to be really, really helpful there. So now over here, I went and tried to see what it would do with the picture if I asked for it to create a super villain. And as you can see, Mid Journey feels that the villain version of my girlfriend is Harley Quinn, which means she's the henchwoman to the Joker, which I suppose in this case is me. So I don't mind it too much because loyalty is an excellent feature in a girlfriend. So now I want to show you guys the blend feature and the blend feature allows you to go ahead and blend multiple images up to five. And the blend feature is more so useful when you're using a cell phone. So for the mobile version. So right here, mid journey says that the blend command allows you to upload two to five images quickly and then looks at the concepts and aesthetics of each image and merges them into a brand new one. But it also says it's the same thing as using multiple image prompts with forward slash 
imagine. And I like to use this more, the forward slash imagine option and uploading my photos there because then I could give it exact descriptions. You can't really do that with blend. You are limited to just adding a couple of photos and that's it. But I'll show you how to do that. So for the purpose of blending, we're gonna use these two photos. This is gonna be Rosie the Riveter. For those of you that don't know, she was the cultural icon in America during World War II when we needed a lot of strong women in the military to take over certain jobs while men were fighting in war, like in the shipyards and a lot of stuff and culture was changing. And so this is kind of like World War II propaganda times. And then we're gonna use this picture of my girlfriend. We're gonna blend the two. We're gonna see what happens. One thing I wanna point out, and this is so very important, make sure that the ratio size of both images that you're blending is identical. I've played around with Midjourney a lot and I'm telling you the best outputs is when the aspect ratio is identical. In this case, it's four by five. And so let's go ahead and test this feature. So we'll do forward slash blend. We're gonna click space and now we can upload up to five photos. In my case, we're just gonna do two. We'll do Rosie the Riveter. And then we'll upload this one of my girlfriend. So I'll go to downloads, upload that. And then when I hit enter, and it produced this image here, which is amazing. This is like exactly what I was hoping for. Mid Journey is crushing it right now. Now, I know that Google is pumping a lot of money into their AI platforms. I know that Adobe is gonna have some phenomenal capabilities as well, but for now, Mid Journey seems to be at the top for these certain things. Although, I'm jumping into Stable Diffusion tutorials next, and I have a feeling that I'm gonna be wowed, and then I will create videos comparing mid journey and stable diffusion and showing you the pros and cons when it comes to creating certain things like logos like realistic and hyper photo realistic imagery and there are going to be a plethora of tutorials coming up so if you guys appreciate this content please keep me motivated by liking commenting subscribing telling your friends about me i'll see you in the next video